welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya and if you're stopping by for the first time then welcome and if you're not stopping by for the first time then thank you very much for your support don't forget to thumbs me up give us a like which is a thumbs up and all the usuals I thought I would do a luxury lipstick try on today I have a collection of lipsticks that are deemed luxury uh, there are a couple others that I'm actually sort of in the process of buying um, and I thought what I would do is film a try on haul so to speak and show you what these colors look like on my lips uh, these range from YSL to Dior to Chanel to Marc Jacobs and then I also have a collection of the Fenty lip glosses and while these are not necessarily uh, luxury I will also show a video or film a video of me trying these on I have at the ready my lip balm to use in between because I will be applying and also taking off the lipstick which is probably a waste but hey okay let me share with you the array of lipsticks that I have in front of me and then I'll get stuck into trying them on so you'll see here I have a range going from YSL to Dior to oh that doesn't go there that goes there to L'Oreal with Balmain, Chanel, 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 and Marc Jacobs. And then just above here, I have my Fenty lip glosses, which I purchased in a little Christmas set. I think it was sometime last year. So I'll start off with the lightest and move up to the darkest. That's my intention. Of course, I may not go that way because I'll also go by brands. Lightest of the lot is the Dior. This is the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. And this is in the color 001. And this is that very, very pale pink. And it's the sort of shade that doesn't actually apply color, but just gives that nice sheen, let's say. So I have my mirror here beside me. I'll be trying it on and then showing it to you. So... That's what it looks like on. As you can see, it's just got the subtlest of sheens. Just a very, very faint, very faint sort of color that it adds. It just enhances the natural color of your lips. This is supposed to, which one is this? Sort of like alter with the body temperature and body heat and sort of takes on a particular pink shade. I think this is the one from memory. But as you can see, that's what it looks like. It feels very comfortable. It's got just the right amount of slick. It feels like a balm and a lipstick in one. Because you know how some balms thing feel very thin. This one doesn't. Uh, and it smells delicious. It just smells like a sweet candy more than anything else. And um, mm, it just uh, it looks good. I don't want to take it off now. It looks nice. Oh, well. Moving on. That's what it looks like there. Okay, the next one along is the next jaw, and this is the packaging. It's got that beautiful sort of purpley plastic glass look. It's got the top here, the silver, and this is color 570 LA Pink. And this color is just a subtle dark pink purple. As you can see, I don't apply a lot of lipstick because I don't like a lot of layers on my skin, even on my face. I don't wear much. It's just I can't stand that thick layer. I feel as if I can't breathe. But anyway, that's this color, LA Pink. And as you can see, it's just a nice warm pink overall. And this is the type of color that I wear the most of in gloss form or in lipstick form. The next Dior lipstick that I have to share with you, I've kept simply because I adore the packaging. I've had this for a few years and it has not gone bad. I check it often. It doesn't smell bad. It hasn't got any white growth on it. And this is the packaging. It's just divine. Look how beautiful it is. This is going back some time now. It's got a very sort of Egyptian look to it, but how beautiful is this packaging? This is the uh, Diorific 001 Violet Tattoo. And this is the color on this one here so I will just try it on quickly a trick that I do is I put, apply the lipstick to my top lip and then I 
press my lips together and it just sort of transfers the right amount and for me I'm happy with that and that's probably as dark as I would go you can in fact go darker um, but I tend not to go too dark I you know it's interesting I've been told I have nice shaped lip shaped lips speak but I try not to draw too much attention to them so and that is Christian Jaw Georific 001 Violet Tattoo. Next two lipsticks that I'll share with you are my two YSL. These are the only YSL I have. This one I've shared with you before in a recent haul. And this one is, um, it's a Volupte Plump in colour. And I'm not sure what the name of this one is because there's no name written on here. But there is a big six. So maybe it's number six. And this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful sort of reddish color with a black heart. And it's supposed to have a slightly plumping effect. Oh, it smells, it smells like watermelon. And that's that color. It's just a flush of color. It's not an, a thick, opaque color. It just gives enough and it's got a very slight tingle. And it feels balmy like it's got that nice slick to it and it looks nice and I could feel that tingling effect sort of on the inside of the lips and here I'm used to like tingling type lipsticks so this doesn't have a very dramatic effect it's very subtle mm. so that's this one mm get into the point I need some lip balm now and the next one along is one that I have not shared with you and this is relatively new to my collection this is one that mum gave me and it's not her color at all and if you look at it here it looks actually quite scary sort of orangey pinky coral um, this one here is a Volupte liquid color balm it's almost like a, a watery balm and this is number also number six so that that's what it looks like Ooh, looks a bit mm, dramatic looks a bit orange doesn't it but it's not this one is probably more the most pastel of all my colors it feels the thinnest mm. you can move it um, you can move your lips across it and it's um, very soft and it's very cool but not as tingling as the first one and this also smells very sweet like you know sweet uh, watermelon candy scent and that's this color and this one here tends to be very thin wash of color too it's not thick it is opaque in that it's got color but not too strong and that's that one <laughs> uh, the next one along that i have to share with you will be this one here this is my Marc Jacobs and this is the only Marc Jacobs I have it opens that way and this is the color it's a lovely brown it's like a bronze and it goes up like that don't move it up too much because you can't retract it this one is quite sheer so as you can see it doesn't look as dark on the lips as it does in the bullet and it's quite smooth it's balmy. Mm. It's not balmy as in like a thick moisturizing balm. It's just more slippery so you can actually move your lips and not worry about things cracking. Um, and it's just got that nice subtle color. Of course, depending on the type of color that you go for, will will have a different effect on the lips. But these are the sort of warm, safe colors that I tend to go for, apart from some of the bright reds that are, are coming. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one feels also very comfortable and I highly recommend this and the color on this is 550 black cherry baby and it also says enamored so one of those words is the name of it for sure and that's that color okay, the next one I'm going to share with you is a L'Oreal so it's not a very expensive lipstick in itself however it was a collaboration with an expensive label which is very luxury and that is Balmain domination by Balmain this is very much a strong fire engine red this one you will need a lip liner and you will need a lip brush the formula on this is more matte so it's not as balmy and creamy as the previous ones uh, this one tends to be more of a matte formula that's why I don't wear it all 
all that much, but it was Balmain. I had to get it because it was just like a Balmain collaboration, really. So um, what I'll do is I'll apply some to the top lip, um, smoosh my lips together, and then use the lip brush and blend it in a little bit better. That is the color payoff, guys, on one smear on my top lip and then moved down to the bottom. But of course, you can make it deeper. I mean, you know, you can go as red as you like. <laughs> See the difference? There and there. Well, you know who's come to the party with this particular lip colour, don't you? Okay, sunlight now is playing with me, but that's what that one looks like. And clearly, <laughs> I don't wear this one much because it is a little bit intimidating. Although when I was much younger, I used to wear these all the time. But this is a beautiful colour. It's a type of colour though, it does still move around, so it has got some creaminess to it. Um, and it can't move, so if you happen to nudge yourself you will streak it and it will get on your teeth as well so that's that beautiful color no mistaking that one <laughs> okay let's move on to my chanel uh of which i have the most the first one and the one that i tend to wear the most and which i love the most and will always replace the color is number 716 rouge coco gloss from memory the actual name of it is caramel and this is the one here that is probably one of their most popular. It's this beautiful color like this. And that's what that color looks like. I wear this one the most. Even in cheaper gloss formulas, I tend to wear this type of color. I gravitate to this color because to me, it's very much a case of you can't go wrong with this color. So that's what it looks like. Um, that's that. The next two I have are, they look the same, but they're not. The same, same, but different. <laughs> this one's more of an orange red. This is more of a slightly red, cherry red. And I bought these not at the same time, at separate times, but they, they are each striking. These ones, while they're a gloss, the Chanel glosses, although they're a gloss, they're, they actually have some color. They're relatively opaque. So that's what this one looks like. This one, I think, benefits from having a lip liner. To just anchor it and give it just that impact but i'm not going to do that today as you can see that's the color on that this one again is more that orangey terracotta type of color i do gravitate to these types of reds more than the blue reds i think the blue reds just don't suit my coloring as well as this type of red and the color on this is 752 again rouge cocoa gloss and this one from memory was called chili red no, this one is uh, bitter orange. Sorry, it's bitter orange. That's so got that beautiful orange shade to it. How beautiful is it? It's actually really nice. I really should wear this one more often. I forget how pretty it is once it's on. The next red is more of a cherry red. But if you look at this one, when you hold it up in the light, you may not see it. But it's got the ever so subtle gold fleck. Just a little gold shimmer through it. And that's that red. So can you see how it's less orange? This one's got a little bit more of a cherryness to it. So that's the one I've just put on here. Yeah. So that's what that one looks like. And these feel comfortable on the lips. They're not sticky. They feel like a gloss. Like, you know, if your hair sort of like goes on it, yeah, it will get stuck. But they feel moisturizing. They feel thick, but a good thick. It's like, ooh. Yes, and of course, there'll be color transfer. So if you go to drink, you'll definitely get will come off onto the glass or the bottle or whatever. But they feel nice. Yeah, they're nice. Okay, and the last one I have to share with you in the Chanel glosses is this one here, which is a dark color. It's a dark, vampy, you know, purpley color. Um, what was this color called? But anyway, this is the number 772. And I don't remember the color, but this is just like those dark black purples, you know. Uh, 
and again this one oh, it's a bit va va voom isn't it uh, beautiful color it does not look as dark as it does in the tube don't let this fool you this actually uh, the glosses are actually just a little bit lighter than these because these are not a fully pigmented lipstick and that's what that one looks like and that's also quite nice quite similar to this shade if you remember it mm, that's that one see glosses just suit my lips better I don't know what it is but yeah I just remembered another one now this is actually not mine this is my daughter Talia's and would you believe that Talia actually had lip gloss a Chanel lip gloss before I did incredible this was gifted to my daughter by my sister-in-law uh, my brother's wife and it's a gorgeous color and it is a color 83 and this is the Lèvres Chintillant which is the like you know shimmering glossy lips and if you look at the tube you'll see there are many gold flecks in it if you can see there Anyway, this is a beautiful pink. I've often worn this. This is a few years old now, but still has not gone bad. And that's what that one looks like. Not bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about this one. That's actually Talia's. Okay, now the last two Chanel that I'll try on for you are these two here. I've shown each of these. One was a limited edition color and another one was... Um, I think another Christmas edition or something or other but these are just beautiful so this first one in the black case is the Rouge Allure Velvet 617 Camellia Grenat and these are so beautiful you just push that in pop, and out it comes and this is the color and I haven't worn this one yet I knew there was one I hadn't worn so beautiful there you go it's like a beautiful plummy purple again there's the Chanel Sort of embossed in there oh, something about a Chanel lipstick peeps I don't know what it is but come on mmm that's beautiful that's a beautiful color so this is I don't want to take it off I don't want to rub off a Chanel lipstick what a waste but anyway uh, this is that color there and then the last of my Chanel is this one here in this beautiful red tubing and I think I bought this at Christmas so this one was purchased prior to Christmas last year 2019 this was the Christmas one I think from memory and this one is called Rouge Allure Velvet number no. five so this is the Chanel number no. five color that pops up in like that oh, and the color oh my gosh now this one I have worn and as you can see in here, it says number five embossed on there. It's a shame that, you know, they don't put it on the bullet casing itself or something because that's just going to go away and then you, you lost that. But anyway, this is also a beautiful Chanel red. <laughs> I clearly don't need any more red lipsticks, do I? <laughs> I don't even wear this one much, but I love it. This one's beautiful this one feels the most um, velvety maybe the most sort of almost dry no it's still there but almost the most dry compared to all the others because most of my others are mostly glossy and creamy this one doesn't have that wet look this one as you can see does look more matte and it's more of a velvet matte so yeah, that's that so guys that's the collection of my luxury lipsticks and lip glosses plus Talia's. <laughs> Let me know what you think of them. Which color did you like the most? I think I'll leave this on now because it's Chanel. So take care, everybody. God bless. Don't forget to let me know which is your favorite. Don't forget to th thumbs me up and I'll see you next time. Ciao. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're stopping by the, for the first time, Start all over again because as usual I botched that up. <sighs> no, anyway, whatever. <laughs> no, cut that all out. <laughs> Seriously, learn to talk. Seriously, learn to talk. Learn to talk. Okay, it can't be that hard. It just can't be that bloody hard. <sighs> I need earrings.